So I've showed you all how to make seitan or wheat meat in the past. I've done it a few different ways using either just vital wheat gluten or doing the WTF method. Wash that flour. Now the WTF method is really simple. Make a dough ball with some flour and water and then put that dough ball into a bowl covered with water and let it rest for about an hour. Once you're done letting it rest, you take the dough ball out of the water, start rinsing it, and you rinse it until the water comes clean. But the method that I wanna show you today is a little bit different. Now, I recently joined the Facebook group that is all about making seitan from the wash that flour method. It's this one right here, I'm not gonna say the name. And as you can see in that picture, that's what we're making today. Now, this method was developed by a gentleman named Uncle Hugh, and I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name, Ansel Hugh. Sorry, I am sorry I'm butchering your name. I spoke to him and asked him if I can show everybody uh, this technique, and he was very gracious and allowed me to show you all today. So let's see how that is. We're gonna slice it up to make a pastrami sandwich. I'm gonna throw in some of that Swiss cheese that I just made in the last video, and uh, this is gonna be amazing. So we're gonna start with around 750 grams of flour. Now, I'm gonna be using bread flour because it's a high protein, and since we're trying to get protein out of this. I want the most protein possible, which that comes to about four and uh, three quarters, four and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of beetroot powder for color. I'm gonna get this started to just kind of mix up that beetroot powder into the flour. But then I'm gonna add 400 milliliters or around a cup and three quarters uh, of water. I'm gonna add another teaspoon of the beetroot powder because this is not coming out all that pink. So just after a few minutes of kneading in the KitchenAid, I went ahead and just kneaded it right here on the table, gave it a little bit extra. This is a really nice gluten dough ball that's ready to roll. So all we're gonna do is just cover this in water and let it sit for about the next hour and we're gonna wash the starches out of it. Okay, so now that this dough has sat for about an hour, you're gonna see when you press on it, the starches are gonna come out and then you're also gonna see, you know, that it's it has this very, kind of gummy, you know, look to it. And those are the starches there. So let's go ahead and give this its initial wash. You could see the water's already turning white. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna save all of this water for the next video. And if you paid attention to the Facebook group, the name of that Facebook group, you're gonna be able to now understand why it goes by that name. Now this water is like a pink milky water. This is the point that we're gonna stop. Normally we would keep going with this, but at this point, we're done with this, and this is what it's looking like. This is layers of gluten with little pockets of uh, starch all mixed in throughout. So now that we have our very starchy seitan, we're gonna go ahead and season this really quick. For the seasonings, we're gonna do one teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon coriander, half teaspoon smoked paprika, half teaspoon onion powder, quarter teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon mustard powder, teaspoon mushroom seasoning. And then all we wanna do is then just knead in all of these seasonings. Just make sure that they're evenly mixed in. So now that all of the flavors are combined, all of the seasonings are combined in there, we're gonna allow this to sit for one more hour. This has rested for around an hour now. It's looking good. The gluten has rearranged itself. What we're gonna do is we're going to be the FSF method, the fry, simmer, fry. Now we're gonna fry simmer initially and then tomorrow we'll fry it again. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fry this in a generous amount of oil. You throw that on around a medium heat and then add in our seitan, add in our gluten. We're gonna fry that continuously turning for as long as we need to until we get a nice sear on both sides, like a nice brown. At that point, we're gonna add in a healthy amount of red wine. It's gonna be almost about three quarters of a cup of red wine. And we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of soy sauce or tamari. Throw the lid on your skillet and let that simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes. Remove it from the heat. That's gonna suck in all of those flavors, really make this really succulent. At that point, all we're gonna do is just wrap this up, throw it in the fridge and let it sit overnight. Okay, it is the next day. I am super excited about this. I think this is gonna be absolutely amazing. So because I'm gonna be making like a pastrami sandwich, I'm actually going to be slicing this on a deli slicer, but I wanna get this sliced in half just to get an idea what this looks like. The only thing I'm worried about is that I didn't add enough of the beetroot powder, but it still looks absolutely amazing. It's super, super stoked about that though. I bet you the flavor is gonna be good. Let's throw this on the slicer and get ourselves some deli meat. 
So you can see we were able to slice this sideways into some strips. This is probably gonna be what I'm using here. But then I was also to just create large kind of deli slices out of this. Now at this point, it still needs to be reheated one more time. We're gonna actually gonna simmer this in a broth. This is kind of stepping away from the original instructions. And I'm just gonna add about two tablespoons of soy sauce, quarter cup of red wine. I'm just gonna kind of make sure I pour over everything too. And then I'm just gonna cover and simmer in this for about 20 minutes. Okay, these guys are looking awesome. We're gonna build our sandwich. What I'm gonna do is just top this with some of that Swiss cheese and we're gonna throw it right in the skillet. All I'm gonna do is just grab some of my cooked pastrami here. This is looking awesome. And we're just going to layer it up. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. That is our pastrami sandwich. It kind of came out, it didn't come out as very much as pastrami as I wanted it to, but it still looks pretty dang good. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much for the recipe, the Satan Facebook group. I can't say your name because it's derogatory. It's just, but it's a great Facebook group. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Mm. This is awesome.